Ah, there's wolves up by the mountain. No words, because brain. Right, so, this is the what we did last time, we built this. I was going to end the video now, but then I had this idea. I'm thinking we filmed the intro afterwards. Okay, this here weapon, the the spray and pray rifle, is the useless, most useless weapon ever. Cause like, okay, it's probably good against wolves when I panic and go like, ah! and, and want to shoot them, but the recoil is just stupid and managing to stay on target. I don't know if you saw, but when I tried to um, shoot the wolves down here on the ice at some kind of distance, it just didn't work. So we're losing this. Get out of my way. That one. And I wonder if we have like the MR character weapons. This is the MR, is it MR8P or BP? MR8P, whatever, like there. I keep the, at least a weapon on my hotbar there for everything and generally the three first. Before we go out and test the rifle, I am going to check that we have one of them queued up here. I see, so the automatic rifle is probably the uh, not so very good, then rapid fire automatic rifle, and then there's the precision rifle, is that what they're called in this? Precise automatic rifle, okay, I get it, MR8P, we've learned it's the precise automatic rifle here. So that's good, now we can go out and test it. Does it use different ammo? 556.45. You'd think that it's this, but there they are. So please assemble a hundred of those for me. Assembler. Assembler number two. There. Learn. There. That's where it is. We want say we want 50 of these at all times that's a good number for magazines we just pop in and grab some now we can go out and test this finally oh So it's not a good weapon for panic situation, but at least that's what we have the jetpack for, isn't it? Right, so this is the what we did last time. We built this. Uh, we also enclosed La Casita Blanca. But since we lost that recording, I just showed you what I did. So most of the episode we, we spent building the shack here. It's a question for you guys, like how much of the design phase do you want to join in on and how much of the building? Like, because I don't really want to spend that much time just you guys watching me build. What I'll try to do is that I'll show you like the phases of the build or the most important decisions. And then either we speed through or I just do jump cuts and go like, look, this is what I built. But there are different views on this. So I would really love some feedback where you guys tell me you know, would you like to watch everything? I don't think I will leave you guys watching everything. That would be like a stream. This is not going to be a stream. I will uh, continue to edit the episodes, but maybe not that heavily. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say. So episodes will be edited. And yeah, so let's continue this. You know, I'm going to bring Buggy the Rover here uh, with some um, with uh, his loadout. And let's just see if, if that is enough for... Um, for what, what what our needs will be because he has a um, my mobile uh, oh my god no, no words because brain he has my mobile build and repair system Bob so let's see let's first just disengage and check out the systems here so I I have like a we have some uh, cargo cargo I need to see so it's special but it's not hidden. Let's check this out. La Casita Blanca. Let's go into the terminal here. Unless we have programmable block. Is he? There is he. Let's check this out. So let's see this. 
for a keyword, this is the one I'm thinking about. And I actually saw this in a split C episode. It, I think he's, or not, I think he's my favorite space engineers player on YouTube at the moment. And if you have some good, you know, suggestions for other last plays that I can watch, uh, well edited uh, players, then, then please drop them in the comments below. Because I love watching space engineers as well. So I think this is what we're looking for. Keyword of an inventory to contain to be excluded from item counting as used by autocrafting. That's what we want. So hidden. Bogey the rovers. So special. And we want hidden. Hidden. There is the cargo container. Maybe it's a little light on the bulletproof glass. But whatever. We'll fix that later. I'm thinking we'll just park it over here. Seems a bit sluggish. It's it's probably set up for probably set it up for operating with uh, the official trailer. Oh, that's the way it looks like to me at least. So handbrake no, no I pressed P. <laughs> handbrake on three. Oh, that's Bob six. Put that one on. Oh, we can hear it working. I think this will be filled instantly. Anyway, we'll check that out later. Because what I wanted to do after l reviewing the video was at least give these guys some more support. So it looks a little bit more structural. <laughs> we want it to be believable, right? So there, that's more believable, I think. Then what we need to consider is how we're going to build the roof. We could attach the windows directly on these. Can't we do that? I think we can do that. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at some three by some things, right? Okay. So what we're seeing here is that we're not covering. I could edit uh, like how this is working. But what I'd rather do is um, make an on-ramp here and... Just drive inside. Let's see. We go close to these windows. Like this. Up here. Yep. That encloses most of it. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that guy there. And then the problem now is what do uh, what do we put in the middle here, right? Because this is like a strange slope. If you catch up. I could just go straight there. You know? But let's see what kind of windows do we have. One by two slopes. So let's see how this will work. Alright. This I think this yes. This is what we want. Lucky though. You can hear the chick 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 sound, that's Bob. Not having the things he need. So let's go in and just change that instantly. So Bob, uh, no, that, that you're not the one who needs it. It's the cargo, cargo, cargo container. Uh, yeah, you. There's some custom data here. Going bulletproof glass, saying we're going to say thousand there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well that, that will work, but yep. Oh. It worked. Again, I'm lining it up like this. I'm controlling it to taps of eight. Oink. So connect. Get out. Get out. We should now have sucked up whatever the base again. Or did we not save the last time? Or do I keep ramming into it? Ah. But what? 
Oh, this wheel is missing. I have absolutely no idea what goes on with this... This grid. Is Bob eating those? For some strange reason? Because last time, I'm pretty sure this wheel was missing, not that one. Oh, well, the mysteries. So I see bulletproof glass, a thousand. Good amount, to be honest. So we can bring him out. We can bring him out. Oh. Now we should be getting those. They are being um, welded up as we speak. And I guess we can complete the roof now. I absolutely love this game. I just gotta tell you, you know. Just to break it up, we could use the barred window in the middle. It's not available on large ships. Okay, well that so settles that then. Vertical windows. Let's try that one. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. It'll add something. What will it add? I don't know. It adds a little bit of shape. I mean, to I mean, I like the fact that we have all the glass here and stuff. That was like kind of uh, that was kind of the point. But you know, you need some depth and variety also. I think. I believe. So I think that will be nice. <laughs> right? Okay. There's something at least. Something at least. Need some lights up here, but we do that once we have the building weather tight. Maybe it won't be weather tight. Maybe it will be weather tight. Who knows? Who knows? So I've got a huge tank with a lot of hydrogen here. And basically, I'm thinking about moving it. Industrial hydrogen tank. This is cool. One of the new, one of the new blocks from the industrial pack. What does, what does that look like, by the way? Let's see. Has a connection point on top. I mean, on bottom and on top. Oh, that's a little bit cool. Maybe we use that one. I can fit three tanks in here. Working like that. We can make some kind of conveyors. Conveyors, but we want maybe the industrial. Industrial. Okay, so a normal pipe. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Oh, it'll be cool if we kind of make it like this. What's the difference between this one and the flanged one? has a flange <laughs> of course it has a flange but like okay yeah so i'll say i like the flanged one better so we do like this take that one away six yep then we one of these there. I'm um, I'm thinking we pipe this up from below on the first one. So that means we need a T junction, like so. And do, do we want to continue using the flanged pipe? Well, it has to be flanged on that side then. And flanged on that side. So flanged and flanged. And then we can do a normal pipe in between. Okay, so there are some markings on them that we haven't paid attention to, but okay. Uh. All right. 
right. We don't want that. We want the one in the middle to be special. I really like that connection point on it. Sorry, Mac, you know, but like so. So there's three different types, oh, two different types of tanks, but the one in the middle will have um, a quick access point for me, which we like. <laughs> so basically, this here conveyor system, which is not looking very nice, we could bring it into the middle, not that there's any point in doing that. So there. And then we open up this one as well. Okay. That's the way we like it. And these are the old types of conveyors. So like so. And then we need an elbow here. So look at the block, press control. Brings up build vision. Scroll down on the scroll wheel. It's supposed to bring up the new terminal, no, the old terminal. Click on stockpile off. So if we want to transfer it to this tank here, we go control, control, scroll down. Stockpile. So the way I see it, this tank should now be refilling. So it's <laughs> Bring it the wrong way. Gotcha. So another one. Well, we, I mean, it's a little bit cheaty seeing us. I was flying. Good job, Buggy the Rover. <laughs> good job. Jolly good job. Okay. Let's try not to wave our guns around in here. Okay. So, basically, we want to cover this with something halfway believable, right? doesn't need to be completely weather tight, does it? I mean, we have a lot of things that could work here. Could go window and then could go over that with that block over there. Leave this to be sorted out by tomorrow us and then fill in this. We could fill it on the outside. There's a lot of things we can do here. Isn't there any cover blocks? I thought there were some new cover walls. Maybe they're hidden behind some kind of protection. I mean, uh progression how about we build windows and then put walls on top of them can we do that okay so we need i need to build one more of those lips could bring that out there but we won't so let's see now is this going to work Maybe it works. Can put a light up under there. At least I can put a light here. Let's go with this and see where it brings us. I mean, it'll be something different at least. And then. Good job. Good job. There. Put another corner light here, just to cap that off. There. So we need a window that is two by something. There. So how about that? How about that? No missing items, as far as I can tell now. Or at least that's what he says. So now the shack has hydrogen tanks. On with a little bit of connection. It looks a little bit cool with all the doohickeys uh, flying around there. We have our assemblers and our refineries. You know, due to lag, I'll be... This is what I'll be, you know, keeping at this area for now. I have some great news coming up 
And I think maybe I'll talk about that in the intro, yeah? I will. I haven't filmed the intro yet. You know, because... Okay. So let's see. Now we can kind of fly out here. Okay, yeah. So the shack is a shack now, and it's... Yep, that's what it is. And check this out. I kind of googled what would be a more of a warm white. 253244220. So let's try it. 253... Increasing the intensity of it. I don't know. Maybe we'll group them up. What I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is that we need to get some kind of more color in here. And pipe work, orange. So no more pipe work yet. And then we go with our, I don't know what to call this color. Um, it's kind of a cobaltish blue. I have no idea. There. Because that is the color palette. Oh my lord. Words. No words because brain. This is the color palette that we chose. Maybe we could give the additions the orange. You know, to break up. But I don't know. It'll be a lot of orange with those. And you know, as I make more conveyors, I'll be pi piping them up as well. Um, what I think is that we need to bring the platform here forwards a bit. Yeah, like I like I was uh, talking about. I think that we will um, we will look at different different skins for the blocks. Is the word I'm looking at. We will look at different skins going forward. But these, I mean, these buildings are have already like been started, and yeah. So what I'm saying is I'm happy with the skins of these buildings now and you know the way La Casita Blanca is and the shack here is starting to look. I mean the shack looks really industrial the way I wanted it to, you know. Also I, I need to learn voxel hands to fix some of the some of the damage that's been done. You know, the way this is turning out, the shack has kind of a lip out here in front maybe we could use that for something later but for now i think we'll just leave do one more and then we cap it off some way over here there okay so it turns into something like this then So that's apparently a thing. Then going on with the theme here. Again, what we've been doing here is putting that lip under there, right? So let's just continue that. We could put lights here as well, but the thing is, I like lights to turn off automatically in this game. <laughs> yeah. There. That's an edge that I can hook my machines into and completely destroy them. Here, of course, we need to do something. So, any ideas for this? At all? What, what would that be? Anyway, this is the more or less completed um, shack. Oh, again! I'm murdering myself on those. So yeah. Interior pillars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to him. We leave him to do his thing here. You know, I'm tempted uh, just putting a connector for Bob here as well. I mean, for Buggy the Rover here as well. I could kind of just drive over here, refill the Rover here. Oh, my God! thing is, 
I'd like to put a searchlight somewhere, like on top here maybe, and then I'll have that searchlight target enemies, or I don't know if they, the, 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 the wolves, the mutts, if they're considered neutral or what they are considered. Anyway, I'd like them to, to target them. So I'll, it'll be cool. It'll be like a searchlight at night going around and lighting up these, these mutts, you know. And uh, it also looks like we need another gun over here to handle the extermination of, of that pest. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, you can see the, the build and repair system here. It's not massively overpowered in its speed and everything. But I hope it brings more enjoyment for you as viewers. While Bob is finishing up the, the last part of the shack here now. I was going to end the video now, but then I had this idea. <laughs> I'm sorry I have to go through with it. Because <laughs> we have these light armor blocks now, right? Uh, I mean, thin. So, light arm. These things here. Light armor panels. Uh, all kinds of slopes and whatever. How about if we give that the La Casita Blanca color? Uh, these are not very nice to place. Like. I don't know if you noticed, but I keep pressing... Uh, turning off the the jetpack instead of um, flying down yeah my controller my control setup my hotkeys are not what you might call it optimized a hundred percent yet but the last time I think it was one of the buttons that you can't change that I used for down or maybe shift or control or something so I forced myself to change it in this uh, setting. Oh, I'm so tempted to just build another bob over here. Turned out a little bit bland, to be honest. I don't know what I think about this yet. Girders. Are those girders? What are those called, all those blocks? Oh, well, we can just check them down here. They're beam blocks. Beam blocks. Beam? So I think there's half beams, right? It's nice. I mean, it's a little bit of a roof. Uh, we need to take off that, but still, I mean... Um... I was thinking like this real shack thing, but corrugated something, corrugated plates there. Okay, it's not perfect. Yeah, we could put one more here. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it, but you know what? We're going to keep it, and we're going to live with it for a while. It's fugly. Yep. That's what it is. So, basically, now we have the, the shack completed. Right? It's enclosed, at least. I mean, we could grubble this all we like in the future, because we need more machinery. We know that. But, um, I'm happy with it for now. It's not a work of art by any stretch of the imagination. It's not supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> La Casita de Blanca was kind of trying to do something a little bit more nice. Uh, it's at least got this kind of a modern look to it. So, what's what there is left to do here now. We need to build a small battery shack up there. There are some batteries up there. They're just out in the open. I don't like that. We need to do that. And then we are going to start thinking about the hydrogen base. 
I have, I think I've come up with quite a cool name for it. We'll be talking more about that probably next time. So yeah, next time, next time, next time, next time. Help me with the train of, tho uh, train of thought here. Yeah, next time we, we're going to have to start to do something with that. Because why? Okay, so what's the deal here? We do the battery shack. We get rid of these. At least do something more and a little bit interesting with them. We get a gun placement up somewhere and a searchlight a couple of searchlights around here so it's a little bit more uh you know, fighting capability this area and i want i want to see the searchlights searching out these much you know and then the guns taking them down and then we're going to start looking at our plans for hydrogen base what we want to do is to bring hydrogen over here we want to land on the lake here with an airplane carrying hydrogen in tanks or ice i haven't decided yet but i'm leaning towards hydrogen then I want to meet it down there with a a rover, not a rover, but with a, a, a truck that will then, I think like a tank truck, and will drive it up here, then unload the truck up here. So I want all the hydrogen processing to be done over at Hydrogen Lake, which will get a new name. So that's the... Why all the hydrogen? Okay, we, we're going to space, right? Space engineers. That's why. Oh. So, that's why. Will that save this in any way, shape, or form? Probably not, but, you know. Oh, come on. Oh, come on there. See, this is the thing. Once you start grubbling, you can go on forever. Ah! Oh, there's. We can cut. We can. We can still make this cover. Twist these one by ones. Da 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 da. Let's check this out. Right. Can do that. That's it. Live with it. We're happy. So, enough grubbling for today. That is it. I am done. I'm thinking about so many things I could do. I can put a little light up here. We could rework this whole um, uh, carport thing about here. Well, I don't know. There's so many things. But let's just go quickly up here and take a look at this. The battery is out there. You can see that there is out in the open can't be like this. We're going to make a very simple structure here tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but next time. Then, these windmills have to go, at least uh, in the way they are now. I haven't really decided what to do, but in their current state, we just can't have it like that. Then, we now need to start thinking about how we're going to transport this hydrogen. Maybe the first thing I need to do is to transport myself with a lot of parts over there. Yeah, so that'll be a fun project. Fun, fun, fun. Before my, I kill myself, I'll be driving Buggy the Rover back in. I'll catch you guys in the next one.